Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. This is part one of four on use of the map. There are at least three ways to get to the map screen. If I pick job, there's a, a link right here to get to the map screen. You can also see over here on the status bar the word map. The last way is, do you see the letter M is underlined? So if I hit control and the letter M on my keyboard, that will bring up the map screen. Across the bottom you have zoom in, zoom out, pan, fit to graphics extent. If you tap the zoom in once, it zooms in 50%. If you tap and hold the zoom in till you hear the bell, now it's a window. So you can see I can drag a window and it's actually going to zoom to that window. Makes it easier to zoom in when you're zoomed way out. If you accidentally zoom in too far, you can again bring out the widescreen version and tap map while you're on the map. And you can see you have zoom previous, zoom to default, and you can actually set the default. So if you zoomed in too far, you can tap zoom previous and it will take you back one of your zooms. By deactivating the zoom in, now you can select points, review, stake out, zoom out, pan, and fit to graphics extent. When you do a tap and hold on the screen, this pop-up changes depending on what you have selected. If I only have one item selected and I tap and hold, you can see I have a short list. If I have more than one item selected, I see a, a list. I can do an inverse, I can create a line. If I have many items selected, the list changes again. So depending on what you have selected on the screen, is what controls what is seen in the pop-up list. That concludes this Siler Instrument Quick Tip, Part 1.